and hello again. It's me with a pack of cards. Big surprise. What I need you to do, that's a crap packet, that's a crap spread. I'll try that again. Why don't I start using my newer cards and telling me? Pick a card. Any card. You want that card. Good choice. It's a blue one. Well, it has to be blue, it's a blue packet. Right, so you're going to pick yourself a nice little card and nobody knows what it is yet. But now we do, it's the King of Spades. The King of Spades. You notice that it was the King of Spades. If you didn't believe it, it's still the King of Spades. But if we take that King of Spades and cut it into the middle of the packet, give it a tap and give it a click. Take the top card and turn it and find we've got the King of Spades. Now, that was pretty amazing. Now, come on, that was pretty amazing. I mean, it amazed me somehow. Somehow. Look, I'll show you it again. There's your King of Spades on the top of the packet. Right? And if we just cut the packet in half, give it a tap and give it a click, we get the King of Spades back on the top again. Have you seen enough of that? Have you seen enough of that? Right, anyway. Uh, it's called the Madison Shift. And it's by Madison. Mr. Daniel. Oh, um, yeah. Tell you how to do it would be a good idea, really, wouldn't it? I'm saying anything about what to do then. Right, all you need to do is get a break on um, about a quarter to a third of the pack. Don't do more than that. About a quarter to a third, and then just square it up and get it so you got the break right the way across. It can be a big break. Who we'll let Jim Davison in here? Oh, some of you won't even know who he is, would you? So you got your big break. You got your thumb resting across the top to keep the pack together. You got your fingers down the side keeping the pack together and hiding your big break. And you got your first finger underneath. Because when your hand comes over and grabs hold of the packet, your first finger, I'll just grab hold of the edges of the packet to keep it steady, your first finger is just going to do that. To kick that out. Kick it out and you want to drop it down away from the pack slightly. Once you've got hold of it, obviously. So your hand comes over, it grabs the packet, and you want all your fingers at the front covering that little bit of movement. Because if your fingers aren't there, they just might see that. So you get your fingers there to cover the movement, making sure your your middle finger is down a bit further because that's going to be catching that corner. Of that packet. Your hand comes over, you swivel it over and you get that corner to go in that gap between your ring finger and your little finger. So that goes into that gap and then you drop the pack away just so that your middle finger can catch the edge of that. So you've basically got hold of the packet between your middle finger and that gap between your ring finger our first finger, and when you turn your hand that way, it can't be seen, as long as you don't make windows, which I might be doing because I've got a bit of arthritis in my fingers. Not that you should really tell, I hope. So you got hold of that there. It is angle sensitive, so don't have your hand that way. You might get away straight on forward, but you're best turning a little bit to this side. So you're turning the back of that hand around, you can see it just flashing through. And you've got pretty much a normal grip, I mean you can point, you can grab that card and turn it over to show that their card's still there. Turn it back over, then as you're putting this hand on, you're going to square that packet up on the top, obviously. It'd be, no, it'd, be, it'd be no good sticking it on that way, would it? You're going to square that on top of the packet, and when it just gets square, because it's all hidden by your hand, just as you're going to get it square, because at the moment you can see that, if I don't, if I if I move my thumb up as I'm squaring that up, you don't see nothing. If I move my thumb up after I've squared up, you will see the movement. Get get it back into that grip. Be able to see what I'm doing properly. And if I move my thumb up too quick and then slide it, you'll see it. So you have to get the timing right as to when you put that down. Just as you're going to push it up, you move your thumb over. So then you can split the top half of the packet off, which you basically haven't dropped. That's the pack you just had stuck in that position. 
all you've done is put it there, grabbed all this from the back, put it down, and put that packet on the top, keeping the king on the top. The only difficulty that I've had doing it, and I suppose you're going to feel face the same thing, is getting your hand into the right positions, the right position, so you're getting that into that position every time. It is trial and error until you get your hand into the right position to grab it. And I go convinced that with this is you do your little break, you turn it into a big break, take your hands apart. When you come over and you get it into that position, you can then hold everything in this hand. You can hold it all in that hand. And then when you turn it, take it across, you can just go quick, turn, quick, turn, put it on, cut the packet, and there we go. It is a very nice move. can become very useful. As you've seen with me, you get spectator picking a the card. They stick it onto the top of the packet. And while, you, while you're squaring the packet up, you just pull that bottom half across. Show them again that it's their card on the top. Cut the packet in half so they think their card's gone into the middle. And you've got their card on the top, unbeknown to them. And you can do whatever you want to with that then. Look at that, I missed. Ah, I caught it. Give it a bit of practice. Work your angle out and position for this hand, or that hand, depending on whether or not you're left or right handed. And give it some more practice. And if you start getting fed up, give it some more practice. But all I can say on it, it will take practice. I'll see you again soon.